ready to start. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is officially the duty of Senator Earlene Rogers. She asked me to try to pitch, pitch hit for her this morning. Many of you may not know that Senator Rogers lost her younger brother earlier this week, and the services start this evening. She did not feel that it would be, she had the, the stamina to be here this morning. So could we at least have a moment of silent prayer for Earlene Rogers' brother, Gerald Smith Sr., that passed this week? Thank you. Uh, we will now have Al Kamanti come forward and have the Pledge of Allegiance. Honorable Mayor, guests, senators, representatives, family, friends, I'd like to say good morning to each one of you. I'm very proud here today to open the ceremonies with the Pledge of Allegiance. I make a request, gentlemen, uncover and put your hands over your hearts and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We will now have the invocation by Pastor Marion Johnson. Every head bowed, every eye closed, please. Eternal God, our Father, we do come in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your kindness and your grace. And then Lord, we thank you for Mayor Rudy Clay. We thank you, O oh God, for the many powerful things that he was able to accomplish here in the city of Gary. Giving us back a pride that some of us had lost, O oh God. Pride in our city. And Lord God, we pray for his bereaved wife. We pray for the family. Uh, we pray for the uh, city administration now, Mayor Karen Freeman Wilson and all these elected officials. We pray for the good people of Gary. And Lord God, we pray everything that we do here this day will be done decent and in order, for you are God of decency, decency and order. Thank you, Lord, for al allowing us to be here today. We could have been somewhere else doing something else but you saw fit that all of us would gather here today for this great occasion. Pray for our city. We pray that you would continue to bless uh, Mayor Karen Freeman Wilson, the following train, and bless our city to be back to the greatness of even greater than what it was before. For as your word says, the best is yet to come. In Jesus' name we do pray. Let us all say, Amen. 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 <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Pastor Johnson. Um, we are here for one of the more worthy of cause of honoring uh, former Mayor uh, Rudy Clay. But as Pastor Johnson was giving his invocation, I was reminded, uh, and most of us, at least some of us in this audience, are around the same age as Rudy Clay. And I'm reminded of a, a grandfather who was 80 years old and he was, uh, had invited his grandchildren, age six and seven, to be with him for a week or so during the summer. And he was talking to his six-year-old grandson, and the grandson asked him, well, Grandpa, how old are you? And the grandfather told him, I'm 80 years old. And the youngster looked befuddled for a moment, and he asked him, well, did you start at one? <laughs> Uh, we would like to have remembrances of, of uh, Mayor Rudy Clay, and I will start with, um, is Councilman Kyle Allen here? Then we will move to Councilwoman um, Mary Brown. Uh, Mary Brown will give her own remarks, but she also is, 
she also is representing count, County Councilwoman uh, Elsie Franklin, who I understand is in the hospital. So I would ask that uh, Councilwoman Mary Brown step forward. Thank you. Thank you. I'm fine. Thank you. Good morning. All praises and reverence to God, honor to Pastor Johnson and to any other members of the clergy who are present here this morning. To Chris, Sporty, John McLeod, Belt, all of the members of the Clay family, to the representatives from the Indiana State Legislature, the Honorable Mayor Karen Freeman Wilson, to my colleagues on the Gary Common Council, all other elected officials, and to each of you, who just as I have come here today to bear witness to this momentous occasion. I count it all joy to be able to stand here before you today. As I said earlier, my name is Mary Brown, and I am the very proud representative for the third district of the city of Gary's Common Council the district in which the former mayor, Rudy Clay, resided. Many of us here this morning has his or her own personal story of how Rudy touched our lives and why we feel it is very befitting to pay tribute to him by renaming a portion of US 20 in his honor. I first became an elected official because of Rudy Clay's encouragement and support. I worked with him for many years as president of his political organization, the Claymates. Therefore, I know personally of his deep love and commitment to this community, from his being involved in the hiring of African-American Indiana State Troopers, to his involvement in helping to quell riots at the Indiana State Prison, his becoming the first African-American state senator for Indiana, his becoming <coughs> other office holding, holding other elected offices, and finally becoming mayor of Gary, his own hometown, which he considered his greatest accomplishment. Those of us who were members of his political organization were excited when we found a song that we felt was appropriate for Rudy, because he was slight of build and it was entitled 100 Pounds of Clay. And part of the words were the song were, I'm going to fix this world today because I know what's missing. And I believe that Rudy believed he knew what was missing. His legacy will, of course, outlive all of us. But we have nevertheless benefited from his tireless efforts. Those of us in this community stand on the shoulders of the likes of Rudy Clay, and many of us are wiser because he existed. We are who we are because he was who he was. And so this renaming dedication truly is God's work and it is marvelous in his sight. Thank you very much. Uh, I now will have Council, City Council President uh, Kyle Allen step forward. Good afternoon, everyone. I know that we can focus on the many accomplishments of Rudy Clay and how much he loved this city. But what I want to particularly focus on is his tenure as mayor. Being mayor of this city can be a difficult and humbling job. And he inherited this city at one of the lowest points in its history. We had financial issues, and under his stewardship, this city remained solvent. But most importantly, I want to focus on how during these times, he kept the faith when others gave up, when others' faith had faltered. And despite our challenges, he persevered, he moved forward, and we continue to move forward. So on behalf of the Gary Common Council, it is indeed my honor and my privilege to stand here 
for this dedication of a man who truly loved this city and who truly, during this city's most difficult time, stayed the course, persevered, and looked out for the interests of this city. Thank you very much. Uh, the next person will be uh, the Lake County Clerk, Mike Brown. As he comes forward, I would like to acknowledge his fellow county officials here. I see the Commissioner, uh, Mike Repay, in the back, and <laughs> Councilman Jerome Prince, soon to leave that position. Uh, are there other county officials here? Thank you. Uh, County Clerk Mike Brown. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, give it on to God who's ahead of our lives. Uh, the protocol being established, as the great mayor would say. It is an honor to stand before you today because we all stand on the shoulders of the great Rudy Clay. Everyone around here has been served by him in some form or another. Rudy Clay was the maximum promoter when it came to promoting the city of Gary or anything that he did. He was a man who loved his family, who loved God, and he loved his community. He gave his entire life to serve all of us, and we are all better because of that. I would not be standing here myself if it wasn't for his political intellect. Barack Obama would not have been able to see the state of Indiana turn blue if it wasn't for Rudy Clay, the mayor. And who could forget the Claymates? A great organization that Mayor Clay started years ago, and to this day, there's been no better organization from the ground up to get things done. I had the pleasure to, to work with him one-on-one, -on -one, to be with him, and I learned a lot from him. I've learned some good things and I've made some good choices and bad, but I will tell you this much. He was a political father who loved everyone. He gave his all to the last drop. He gave his all. He was always running in his pocket, pulling out something with Rudy Clay on it. He had calendars, he had bookmarkers, if you needed a comb, if you needed a brush, whatever you needed, he had his name on it. And because he cared, and he really cared. When he said, I care about people, he really did. And I hear people talk about the various offices, the state senate, the recorder, council, commissioner. But his heart was being the mayor. There was nothing more important. And he did a lot of things. And, but he always wanted to be the mayor of the city because he loved Gary. And um, we were blessed to have him. And, and I am so grateful that the legislators and the state is honoring a man who gave his all. But more importantly, I would like us to give a round of applause to his wife and his son and the rest of his family because <laughs> when you're an elected official, your family, they serve right with you. When you're a public official, your family serves with you. And I feel like the Clay family has done a great job and they deserve the honor and the respect that's given. And this couldn't be a greater day and a greater time for a greater man. On behalf of all the Lake County elected officials, including Lake County Commissioner uh, Roosevelt Allen, who couldn't be available because of scheduling, all the county employees in Lake County, I bring you greetings and we all said Lake County was better because of him. I see a former county commissioner, Fran Dupe, she's in the audience. She worked with him side by side. Give her a round of applause. See, one of the things, and I'm going to go because I know everybody else wants to talk, but I just wanted to get my few minutes in because it meant so much for us to be here today to honor him because he never gave up. He never stopped being positive. He never stopped saying Gary is getting better. He, can, he never, and he never went anywhere. And I mean, we went, we went all kinds of places. We go to the state house, we go to, you, you go to the, to the bar, wherever you went, he was always the same. At church, anywhere that Mary Clay went, he was always that way. And he always carried himself in a way of respect. He always had a smile and he never gave up. And I ask you, as we dedicate this, never give up. And as we go down 20 in each and every street in this city, 
never give up. Thank you. God bless you. I was reading some comments the other day from Fred Williamson. He said that Rudy's brother used to throw stones at him all the time. And obviously he couldn't get Rudy to help him and he used to beat up on Rudy. Uh, that's hard to believe that he uh, beat up on Rudy. But I, I want him to tell you in his own words, his relationship, his lifelong relationship with Rudy Clay. Let us welcome Fred Williamson. Always doing great things. That's what Rudy used to say. I don't know how great he was, but I've been knowing Rudy uh, since I was in kindergarten. We go all the way back to kindergarten. I remember him specifically in the first grade because I used to have to pass his house on the way to school. I lived at 2678 Polk, and he lived at 2655 Polk. Had a big old ugly brother named Lonnie. <laughs> who thought he was tough. And Rudy used to stand behind him thinking he was tough only because he was had Rudy, only because he had his brother. They used to throw rocks at me. I used to go past their school, they threw rocks at me. Lo and behold, one day I grew up. I grew two inches one summer between the second grade and the third grade. Believe me, the rocks stopped. <laughs> You know, let, let me give you a part of Rudy that you don't know about, okay? I'm going I'm to call Rudy on the phone. Check this out. Hello, can I speak to uh, Mayor Rudy, Rudy Clay? Oh, this is the hammer. Yeah, okay. Dude, what's up? This is the hammer. Hey, hammer! <laughs> My man! What's up, dog? Now oh, listen, man, I'm going to say something to you. I want you to keep it to yourself, okay? You can't tell anybody. What's up, man? What's that? They're getting ready to do a street after you, man. They're naming a street. No, man, you kidding? No. No, ain't that something? Ain't that something? <laughs> no, no, calm down, man. Calm down. What I'm saying is the real deal. Believe me, you can't tell anybody. No, oh, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It's going to be a name after you. Man. Man. Wow. Boy. You sure I am? I'm telling you, man. Just listen to me. When they tell you about it, act like you never heard it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> ah, are you kidding me, man? Calm down, man. I'm telling you, it's real. All right, man. Be cool. <laughs> uh, okay. That's how I know Rudy. That's my buddy. That's my friend. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> Congressman, um, Peter Vesklowski is not here, but we have his representative here, Mr. Mark Lopez. And also from the federal level, I would like to read a congressional recognition from Congressman Andre Carter, a uh, Carson, I'm sorry. Uh, this congressional recognition is an appreciation of the late Mayor Rudy Clay's dedication as a public servant and champion for those in need. His unwavering commitment to others is evident in the contributions made while he served as a councilman, recorder, commissioner, state senator, and of course, mayor of Gary, Indiana. Mayor Clay was a servant leader who inspired, called to action, and uplifted countless masses, and his legacy of public service is an example for all of us to follow. This congressional recognition is rendered in his honor on behalf of the 7th Congressional District in Indianapolis, Indiana, this 11th day of July, 2014, Congressman Andre Carson. 
I present this to Christine Clay. I would like to have stepped forward my fellow colleagues in the Indiana General Assembly as we officially present uh, the resolution that we are here to, in honor of uh, Rudy Clay today. On this, so I can be We're at a, a con concurrent resolution urging the Indiana Department of Transportation to rename to rename US 20 in Lake County for the late Mayor Rudolph Rudy Clay. Whereas Rudolph Rudy Clay dutifully served the people of Gary and Lake County in a variety of capacities throughout four decades of public life. Whereas Rudy was born on July 16th, wow, we should have held this off a couple of days, 1935 in Alabama and moved to Gary as a very young age. Whereas Rudy is a graduate of Roosevelt High School and attended Indiana University. Whereas prior to politics, Rudy served two years in the United States Army and worked as an insurance agent in Midtown, Indiana. Whereas Rudy marched with Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. and Reverend Jesse Jackson Sr. at Gage Park in Chicago during the 1960s. Whereas Rudy was elected to the Indiana State Senate in 1972 to represent Indiana's third district. He was the only African American senator in the General Assembly at that time. Whereas as a senator, Rudy worked towards better treatment of prison inmates, a victim's compensation fund, a tenant's bill of rights, making Martin Luther King Jr. Day a state holiday, closing the Gary City dump, and fought against discriminatory hiring practices. Whereas Rudy was called on by then Governor Otis Bourne to negotiate a hostage situation in 1973 at Indiana State Prison in Michigan City, the rioting inmates ended the 35-hour siege after they spoke with Rudy. Whereas following the state senate, Rudy was elected to the Lake County Council, 2nd District, and served there from 1978 to 1984. Whereas Rudy was elected Lake County Recorder in 1984. Whereas in 1986, Rudy was shot at, shot at outside of his home by unidentified assailants. No charges were ever filed. Whereas the State Democratic Central Committee named Rudy the Lake County Party Chair, a position in which he served from 2005 to 2009. Clay was the first African American head of the Lake County Democratic Party. Whereas following the resignation of Mayor Scott King, Rudy became mayor in 2006. He would go on to win a popular election for mayor in 2007. Whereas Rudy served as mayor of Gary, Indiana from 2006 through 2011, he, de he decided not to seek re-election due to health concerns. And whereas Rudy passed away on June 4, 2013 at the age of 77, therefore be it resolved by the Senate of the General Assembly of the State of Indiana, the House of Representatives concurring, the Indiana General Assembly recognizes Rudolph Rudy Clay for his many accomplishments and steadfast dedication to the people of Gary, Lake County, and the State of Indiana by urging the, Lake, the Indiana Department of Transportation to rename US 20 in Lake County in his honor. Section two, the Secretary of the Senate is hereby directed to transmit copies of this resolution to the Indiana Department of Rec uh, Transportation and Rudy's family. And this is signed by Senator Earlene Rogers, David Long, President of the Senate, Tim Lannon, Minority Leader of the Senate, and Jennifer Mertz, the Secretary of the Senate. That is the recognition and service that we are here to dedicate this morning.
I would like to, for us to present this to Christine Clay and with additional copies that she can do, uh, serve, and deliver as she sees fit. No, that's no more. Thank you so very much. We really appreciate it as a family. And I certainly want to offer our gratitude to State Senator Earlene Rogers, who spearheaded the drive to keep Rudy's legacy alive. I want to thank our representatives, Dr. Vernon G. Smith, Charlie Brown, Earl Harris, I don't see him at the moment, and Senator Lonnie Randolph. All of these people, along with others, made it possible for this to happen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will now have the official unveiling of the sign that will be constructed on Route 20. I would ask for Christine and Rudy Jr. to step down, Mayor uh, Karen Freeman Wilson, um, other members of the family, and those county and uh, officials that may be here to join us uh, as we unveil. We do have a couple of other presentations to make before wrapping up the program. But I know by now, uh, Rudy Clay has met up in heaven um, Forrest Gump, who also passed. And um, when Forrest Gump got to the pearly gates, the St. Peter says, well, it's kind of crowded up here now, and I'm not absolutely certain you can get in without passing a test. And he says the test is very simple for us. It's three questions that you would have to answer in order to get into heaven. He says, um, I need to know how many, how, how, how many days in, of the week begin with two, uh, T. 
How many days of the week begin with T? And uh, what two days of the week begin with T? How many days of the month begin with the letter T? And what is God's first name? So Forrest Gump left and he came back kind of frustrated. He says, okay, some of those questions are kind of hard, but I thunk and I thunk and I think I have an answer for it. The first question, uh, how many days of the week uh, begin with T? He said, today and tomorrow. St. Peter said, well, that's not quite what I had in mind, but obviously you did give some thought to that, so I will give you credit for that, that you said today and tomorrow. And he said, the second question, uh, how many, how many uh, twos, I mean, I'm sorry, how many seconds are there in a year? And Forrest Gump said, there are 12. St. Peter was still bewildered by his answer. He said, how did you come up with 12? He says, well, January 2nd, February 2nd, March 2nd, and oh, uh, St. Peter said, hold on, hold on, okay, okay, I will accept that as well. Now, the third question, God's first name. Uh, 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 Forrest Gump said, well, that was the easiest one of all. He said, God's first name is Andy. St. Peter is totally frustrated now, saying, Andy, how in the world could you come up with God's first name being Andy? He says, I got it from the song. Andy walks with me, Andy talks with me. <laughs> thank you all, thank you all. <laughs> I would like to have my colleague, Working Dr. Vernon Smith, make a presentation which will be followed by Mr. Jamal Washington, a candidate for uh, Lake County Council. Giving uh, reverence to God, who is the head and center of my life, uh, I am a believer, I am a praiser, and most of all, I am a worshiper. Uh, Rudy was very special to me. Uh, all during my career, even before I became a, an elected official, he was quite supportive. And so I felt very humbled and pleased to be able to play a small part in making this day possible. Uh, Earlene Rogers was the author of the bill in the Senate, and I served as the sponsor of the bill in the House of Representatives. Uh, Rudy uh, has supported almost everything that I did, and he's even blessed me today from the grave. His son came and gave me a letter that he wrote to me in 2010, dated July 19, 2010, and uh, it had a picture that he was intended to send to me with me with uh, Mrs. Jackson, the mother of the, the Jackson boys. Uh, so I, I just want to thank the family for thinking enough of me to share that with me today. And I have a small token to give them from uh, the state of Indiana. And I don't know if Bob, uh, Bob Alderman is still here. Is Bob here? <coughs> Did he leave? Yeah, Bob, Bob Alderman uh, served with Charlie and me in the legislature and was one of those good Republicans. And there are a few. <laughs> and uh, Bob has, uh, <laughs> has worked hard to make this happen. And he gave me four copies of this memorial sign. I imagine he expected one of them to go to Earlene, and I'll make sure she gets hers. But the one that was supposed to go to me, I am going to make sure it gets to the family along with the other copies because I think the family can use them and will treasure them. And so, Christine and, and Rudy Jr., let me get one of these. Thank you so much. And then I'll give you my other ones. And you decide what family members you want to have. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is a good day. To God be the glory. Um, let me talk about Rudy Clay, Mayor Rudy Clay. He, I, I was lucky and blessed enough to have him in my life for over six years. 
Rudy Clay, the mayor, uh, I'm pretty sure touched everyone in some way, shape, or form in this audience. And we all have a story to tell. When I, when I measure a man or measure a grown person, I measure what they do when someone is not looking. So I'll never forget this, I wanna be brief. One day we had a meeting in City Hall and uh, it was a gentleman in this meeting, he told the mayor, how, how is he going to get gas today? He cannot get gas. And he said, what? Same way that uh, <laughs> he said it. And um, he said, okay, so after the meeting, I was looking for the mayor, because I used to follow him around a lot. So I was looking for him and he was in his room and a guy was in there and he was giving him money. That's a testament to who this man is. It is not about what you do when the cameras are on. We can say everything we want to say and be proud of what we want to say when we're watching, but when someone is not watching, what are you doing? Rudy Clay was that man. He's a man's man. No matter what it was, he gave us hope and pride in the city of Gary. No matter what we went through, we knew that Mayor Rudy Clay was preaching up the city of Gary to make a difference. Um, I have a letter here from one of his good friends, Tom Yancey, and I'm going to read that for a moment. It's titled, Care About People, The Right Highway. It is, it is proper and fitting to name this highway in honor of Mayor Rudolph Rudy Clay. In serving the communities of Indiana, Lake County, and the great city of Gary, Mayor Clay was determined to improve conditions, conditions for others. His slogan was, I care about people. As we travel this highway and other roads, let us use Mayor Clay as an example by improving conditions for others. You can say Mayor Clay was a true roadside assistance, helping people along the way. Keep God as your navigator, and you'll always be on the right highway. To God be the glory. That's from um, Tom Yancey, one of his good friends. And also, I'd like to thank the Clays for, because um, I would not be here today if it wasn't Rudy Clay. He made me the man I am that stands before you today. So I want to say thank you, Mrs. Clay, who I call Ma. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, brother. Yes. Thank you, everyone. We have in the audience a candidate for state office, office uh, Mr. Mike Clayton, the uh, candidate for state auditor. Um, Mike, Mike out there. Thank you. Uh, I mentioned uh, Congressman Vesklowski earlier, and I want to invite now Mark Lopez down, even though he doesn't know I'm going to call on him to make some comments for the uh, Congressman. Mike, Mark. Thank you very much, Representative Brown. I always knew we were friends, but the fortunate of allowing me not to follow Fred the Hammer Williamson, I will be forever indebted to you. That was a very kind gesture. Uh, on behalf of Pete Disklowski, uh, who could not be here today because Congress is in session, he serves in a legislative body, much like some of the people behind me, uh, and appreciates how challenging it is to get anything passed. Uh, but Senator Rogers, uh, Representative Brown, Senator Randolph, and Representative uh, Smith, along with all their colleagues, came together and passed legislation that was signed to law that recognized today as uh, brought us here today in honor of the recognition of the Highway 20 being named Rudolph Rudy Clay. It's a testament not only to their legislative skills, but also the skills of the man and what he was able to accomplish in his lifetime. We're here today because he had a very loving and strong support system. Mayor Rudy Clay first love is to God and his family, and his second was to his community. And if it wasn't for Mrs. Clay and his son Rudy, and for his extended family, he would, in their strength, he would not have been as strong for each of us. And on behalf of Congressman Pete Fiskolowski, I'd like to make my remarks or in closing, simply suggest that the testament of a man, as Mr. Washington suggested, is by the content of his character and what he does when people do not watch. And also, we are very fortunate Mayor Clay was with us uh, but he will continue to live on in us because of the love for his family and the love for his community, the city of Gary, the state of Indiana, and our nation as a civil rights activist and a public official. He has made each of us a little better for giving us the time of his life. I would like to thank the Clay family for sharing him with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Lopez. Uh, I did fail to recognize one other elected official, one of my colleagues in the off, in, uh, audience uh, from the Calumet Township Trustees Board, uh, Mr. Clorius Lay. Now, 
we have made allowances for um, members of Friends of Rudy Clay to make brief comments. Um, and first will be uh, Senator Lonnie Randolph. After that, those that might want to make a few comments, please come forward. Let me make you aware that once you hear me clear my throat, that means that you are going too long. <laughs> once I uh, pull your coat or the hem of your dress, that means you have got to stop at that moment. We have not, we will allow each person to come up for two, two and a half minutes if you wish to make comments relative to your relationship with Rudy Clay. That will occur after Senator Randolph. And I need to pull his coat too. <laughs> <laughs> morning, everybody. Morning. morning. And I'm going to say a special morning to Fred the Hammer Williams because my name is Lonnie and I don't think I'm ugly. <laughs> as pretty as me. <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you a short story. When I was in law school, when I first started, we had a professor named Edward Brocky, and he was a feared man with a booming voice. And when he came, very intimidating, when he came in the classroom, he asked the students, do anybody know the definition of law? And so everybody frightening, and you had some couple of people in the background raise their hands and say, yes, Professor Brockney, I know the definition of law. Law is the regulation of human mankind in terms of laws that delegate responsibility. He looked at them, wrong. Another person raised his hands. I know the definition of law, Professor Brocky. Professor Brock, he said that law is, well, the regulations of citizens and residents within a town or a city. He looked at him wrong. He said, I'm gonna tell you the definition of law in one word, and that is confusion. And I say that there's one word that describes Rudy Clay that was not mentioned today, and that is a warrior. He was a warrior. Rudy Clay was a warrior, and that's my dedication to him today. Thank you. One other elected official right here in my eyesight that just shows you that I'm getting old. Anthony Higgs, a councilman from Hammond. Uh, Anthony, did you want to make comments this morning? Okay, we now have an open mic, ladies and gentlemen, for, for those, a few moments, for those that might want to make comments uh, in your relationship with uh, former Mayor Rudy Clay. Uh, thank you, good morning, uh, Representative Brown, and to everyone who's in attendance this morning. Um, there's so much you could say about Rudy Clay, and fortunately, everyone who spoke before me did a fairly decent job at least beginning to express uh, what a tremendous asset he was to this community. Um, I think it's only befitting that we remember a life that was well lived, a life that touched so many of us, and a life that will, as a result of this particular sign, be etched in all of our lives in this community um, as long as this community continues to exist. So on behalf of the Lake County Council and Councilwoman Elsie Franklin, who I spoke with this morning, I'd like to say congratulations, and this is certainly an honor uh, worthy to a man who uh, certainly lived up to it. Uh, there, there is one person I'd like to acknowledge, and, and if he has been acknowledged already, um, uh, pardon me for taking an extra moment, but it was a former colleague of mine and someone who I have a great, tremendous amount of respect for, and he's presently um, our Director of Chamber of Commerce. Uh, in fact, I think he's doing a really great job at that uh, former Councilman and Director of Chamber of Commerce, Chuck Hughes. Thank you, Chuck. Good afternoon. My name is William Parks, and on behalf of myself and my mother, Morning Bishop, and the Morning Bishop Theater, I would like to present this portrait, and it was my honor in drawing. Oh, wow. You do? Good morning. I just want to make a couple comments. My name's Mike Clater, and I'm a candidate for state office. I'm representing the other candidates for state office. But I do want to say that my background, and it's not always uh, treated positively, but I started out with the State Board of Accounts. And I got to work with 
Commissioner Clay primarily after I left state service. But one of the things that you will find when you're downstate, there's a lot of times when Lake County is not referred to favorably. But everyone downstate knew Rudy Clay, knew what he stood for, and everyone understood that that was a man of integrity. Thank you for allowing me to be here. Hello, everyone. My name is Rudy Clay, Jr., and I'm just honored and privileged to be the son of my dad. And I just wanted to tell my dad, I so wish he was here. I, I really wish he was here to see this. And I just love him and love him and love him so much, and I just miss him so much. So I just want to thank each and every one of you all for your support. And uh, Senator Brown, Smith, and Rogers, and uh, Randolph for their uh, tireless effort in making this happen, and all the ministers that my dad loved and loved my dad, uh, that prayed for him, that I believe extended his life more years than normal with their prayers. Uh, I really want to thank you, all of them, and Dad, I miss you and I love you so much. Thanks. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Susan Clay. I wanted to share a quote that I was talking with my aunt about uh, that reminds me of my uncle by Maya Angelou. Uncle Rudy had a way of making people feel loved, cared about, needed, empowered, and inspired. And what I hold from Maya Angelou that reminds me of him and always will when she said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Thank you, Uncle Rudy. I'd like to give praise to God for this opportunity to be here. And also, um, I'd like to give praise to God for the opportunity to be here. My name is Fredoria Swan. And all the things that has been said about the clay is true, but I have to say this. I have to say this, that um, he was a true man of God. And unless you're a true person of God, you let other people define your destiny and purpose. But he was so strong in God that he didn't let other people to define his purpose and destiny. He knew his purpose. He didn't listen to rumors and talk. I heard rumors and talk. I didn't listen to it. You know, he kept moving forward. What God had told him to do, he did it. And I just like to say that no one can stop you from reaching your destiny and purpose but you. So don't listen to other people. Just look forward and stay focused on God and your destiny, and you'll make it in Jesus' name. Thank you. Good morning. I am Stephanie Welsh, pastor of Israel Christian Methodist Episcopal Church, where Mayor Rudy Clay was a longtime member. Yeah. And while I did not have a great length of time to serve as his pastor, during the short time that I did serve, one thing that I learned about, actually more than one thing that I learned about Rudy Clay, is that he was indeed a civic servant committed to his community and then on top of that he was a great family man committed to his wife and his child and to others in the community and then as it relates to his commitment to the church he was indeed a soldier for the Lord and so while I indeed miss his presence at Sunday school on Sunday mornings this is indeed a great commitment that has been shared on today and he is well deserving of this honor God bless you uh, 
really, I think we should not have any messages in between that and bringing the lady of the hour to the microphone. At this time, Ms. Christine Clay. Good morning. This is a wonderful day for the Clay family. And we want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of the renaming of US Highway 20 in Gary, Indiana to Mayor Rudolph Rudy Clay Memorial Highway. This is truly something truly something Rudy would have been proud of. We also want to thank those who could not be here today for their phone calls, emails, comments on social media, expressing their support and well wishes. We'd also like to include in that list Rudy's two brothers, Oscar and Von Clay of California, my brother, Max Swan Jr. of San Antonio, Texas, and one of Rudy's dear friends, Tom Yancey of Cleveland, Ohio. There were many people involved in making this event happen. You've heard from many of them this morning, and it is impossible for me to name them all. But again, I reiterate, I want to thank Senator Erling Rogers, Representatives Dr. Vernon G. Smith, Charlie Brown, Senator Lonnie Randolph, and of course, our great mayor of this city, Karen Freeman Wilson. <clears throat> you know, uh, Rudy's long-standing friend, actor and producer, Fred the Hammer Williamson is here today. Fred has stood with Rudy for many years. He was there when he began his political career. He was there when he ended his political career, and he's here today. And I want you to know, Fred and Linda, how much we appreciate your presence. <clears throat> You've heard many things about Rudy. You know many things about Rudy. You know he was a public official for many years. You know he cared about people. You know he worked tirelessly for this city, the city that he loved. But there are some things you did not know about Rudy that I'd like to share with you. Rudy, every day before we left home, Rudy made sure that we had prayer. Every night before we retire, there was also prayer. Rudy loved his family. He loved, he was a devoted, father to his son Rudy Jr. but he also loved the ministers. He found great pleasure whenever he was surrounded by ministers. Each and every day of Rudy's awakening hours he strived to make someone feel good. Whether it was a smile, 
a hug, a kind word, or purchasing a prescription for someone in need, paying someone's NIFSCO bill to prevent shutoff, helping families with funeral expenses, building ramps for the disabled, providing black history calendars to the schools to assist in the education process, distributing turkeys to seniors or toys to the kids that Santa Claus forgot. Rudy performed so many acts of kindness, he couldn't remember them. It didn't matter who you were, if he knew you or not. If he could help you, he would. So I close with this. When you travel Mayor Rudolph's Clay Highway, Memorial Highway, Think of the life Rudy lived. Help somebody. Make somebody feel good. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, uh, Christine. Uh, and we are coming to the end of the program, the official program here. And I would like to call now the mayor of the city of Gary, Mayor Karen Freeman Wilson, and Christine reminded us of something that how Rudy was into prayer and in churches at all times. Reverend Cargo, I'd like for you, after the mayor's uh, 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 address, to come up and close us out in prayer, if you would. Mayor Karen Freeman Wilson. Thank you. Thank you. To my friend and soror, Chris, to my friend and classmate, Rudy Jr., to all of the members of the Clay family, to the members of the clergy, to my fellow elected officials, and to all this, the citizens of this greater community. Today is a great day in the city of Gary, Indiana. And as great as this day has been, I want to take an opportunity to ask you to join me in a moment of silence for the spirit and in remembrance of Officer Jeff Westerfield, DeCarol Deloney Kane, and all of those who have gone on uh, this week. Thank you. As we honor Mayor Rudy Clay and this momentous occasion, I thought it was appropriate to have that moment of silence because it reminds us so much of what Mayor Clay stood for and what he loved so much about the city. He often said that it wasn't the bricks and mortar it wasn't the Great Lake. It wasn't the transportation assets that make this city great. It was the people, the citizens of Gary, Indiana. And it is the resilience of that people that will get us not only through this time, but will, that will take us to even greater times in the city of Gary. Whether you look at Mayor Clay's service at the state level, at the county level, at the party level, or at the municipal level, which was his greatest love as mayor of this city, one thing that you could say that crossed all of those genres was the fact that he did something significant that left an impact. And it is because of the impact that he left that it was fitting and proper that the Indiana General Assembly was able to see past their partisanship, past their bickering, 
pass their divide to come together on this joint resolution that resulted in the naming of Mayor Rudolph Rudy Clay Memorial Highway. And I would say to you that it is not because Mayor Clay died that this act has been done, but it was because he lived. And in so living, he touched so many lives, not just in Gary, not just in the state of Indiana, but throughout this nation. And the greatest tribute that we can pay to him is that we forge together as a community and realize the dream and vision that he had for this community. About three years ago, I stood at the top of the garage or at the top of the uh, bank building and I looked out and a um, reporter asked me what I saw. And in fact, he prompted me. He said, well, you know, you look out, you have to see the blight, you have to see the vacant hotel, you have to see all of these negative things. And then I recounted to him that I saw a great city. I saw a city that was at the crossroads of America. I saw all of the things that make our city great. The reason that I could see those things was because Mayor Clay saw those things and he worked to make those things better every day. And so in closing, I want to say thank you to Chris, to Rudy Jr., to all of his friends who shared him with this community because of your sacrifice, you're willing to sacrifice and share him with us. And because of his sacrifice, even the sacrifice of his very health, we are all better and we can all work harder to make his dreams and his vision a reality. Thank you. As Reverend, Cargo comes to close us out. I want to acknowledge the fact that we have another former county council person here. Uh, Will Smith has joined us here for this service. We also have a representative from the Hobart City Council, uh, Councilman Brisek uh, from, from Hobart. Thank you for joining us. I don't, I don't see her, uh, former Commissioner Fran Dupay. I think she was acknowledged prior to Fran, nice having you here today. Uh, we will now have the benediction by uh, Reverend Carol Carver. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have brought us to this historical site, the center of Northwest Indiana, with house on the western step of City Hall in Gary, Indiana. We thank you, dear God, for allowing one of your creature. You made him in your image to become an outstanding citizen for all people, one who knew how to negotiate one who were not afraid to say, let us come together and not be divided over what we disagree about. <clears throat> we thank you, dear God, for his son. We thank you for his wife and for the family members. We thank you, dear God, the leader of this city, Mayor Karen Freeman Wilson, for all of the representatives, the politicians, the minister, the elder, the deacon, those who know who they are. As we gather here, Lord, let us not be departed, but let us come closer together to make Gary and Northwest Indiana the site which has named this Memorial Highway 
to run east and west as it connects interstate running north and south. Lord, help us as God's people not become divided at the crossroad, but to come together as we look at the sign by saying, here was a good man who gave his life for all of the people. And the people of God from all faiths say, amen, amen, amen. 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 amen.